Rabia Oksanya Mateo, Ilu Ilu City. Ilu Ilu City. Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up, we have time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer, and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to. Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heartfelt beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final... Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> for everybody. Okay. <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga. But what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Ilo, Ilo!
you ever doubt what one woman can do? I never doubt the female's abilities, but I used to doubt myself. Can I be the one to make a change? But life taught me to stop doubting and to start making that change, to believe in myself. That's why I'm here today. To have a chance to win Miss Universe Thailand would not only be an incredible honor, but a step towards a cause that is so much bigger than myself. This remarkable platform has encouraged countless young adults to step out of their comfort zone and to advocate for what they truly believe in, to be the voice for those without. A lot of people ask me about my social advocate. When I was just 15 years old in Phuket, that's when the tsunami hit. And I saw a lot of people who were deeply affected by the situation. And since then, I started teaching English to children who were lost their parents. I wanted to make them smile even just a little bit. Because to me, that's like the smallest things, but to them, that could be their whole day, their whole life. When I moved to Bangkok, I started working to help people relieve during the COVID. And I worked with Sati Foundation. Another thing that is really close to my heart is mental health. Because it happens to one of my family members who are going through a mental illness. What I found from that situation is that there's not a lot of social understanding and awareness in Thailand. And I really want to change that. Because if you have mental illness, it doesn't mean you're crazy. It just means you have a sickness that you can work with and you can be a member of society. The concept for Miss Universe Thailand this year is Real You, Real Universe. The first thing I did was I asked myself, am I real? And the answer is yes. I know who I am and I am proud of me. I know that being Miss Universe Thailand is hard working job and I am ready to take that responsibility to have the whole nation's hope on my back to get that third crown. It was a long journey of mine but the universe is so big and I understand that but today I am proud to say that I am ready. I'm ready to fight, ready to lead, ready to inspire and be inspired, ready to speak ready to listen, ready to work hard. I am ready to take the crown, to be your next Miss Universe Thailand. My name is Amanda Optum. It is important for education to be prioritized in our society, to change the narratives about mental health that exist. We have a collective responsibility to destigmatize and inform how we, as a society, view mental health. For any change to come about in our communities, we need to tackle the mind, the powerhouse. If the mind is conquered, we will go nowhere. As Miss South Africa, I'll be a representative of the beauty, resilience, and diversity that exists in this country. Thank you. Shut up!